Devin Haney recently spoke out after his loss to Ryan Garcia, blaming Garcia's extra three pounds for his defeat. Surprisingly, Garcia revealed that Floyd Mayweather advised him to come in three pounds overweight against Haney. Ryan Garcia revealing that Floyd Money Mayweather is the one who advised him to come in three pounds overweight um, for his last. This revelation adds another layer to Money's recent drama with Haney. Did Kingry really cheat by coming in three pounds overweight for the clash with Devin? Stick around to hear what the experts have to say. Devin Haney has finally spoken up after his devastating loss to Ryan Garcia. The WBC super lightweight champion stayed silent after his defeat last week, but has now accused Kingry of cheating his way to victory. This is surprising, as Devin chose to fight Garcia and even dismissed the extra weight before the bout. In the fight, considering he missed weight by over three. Of course not. It don't matter what weight he can, what, what, what weight he came in. I'm a true champion, and I will show it. All right. Well, good luck. After the fight, Devin feels the three pounds helped Garcia win. In his latest Instagram post, the dream highlighted the weight issue, challenging Garcia to a rematch under fair conditions. Despite everything, Ryan won that night, and that's fine. I think the weight did have an impact, but only Allah knows for sure. I'd like another match to give the fans a fair fight at an agreed-upon weight. He also revealed his current plans, saying he's taking some time off, and it will be a while before he decides on his next move. With that said, I'm currently spending time with family and friends and catching up on my missed days from Ramadan. Thanks to all my supporters and everyone involved in making this event happen. Once I've completed Ramadan, I'll update you on what's next. Devin Haney blaming Kingry for the loss is hypocritical, considering he accepted the fight and was confident about defeating him. Fans have been criticizing Haney after his latest statement. One user wrote, Excuses are coming out now. Devin forgot how much heavier he was compared to his previous opponents before Ryan. Coming in three pounds overweight might be seen as cheating by Devin and his fans. However, YouTuber Showbiz, who remains neutral on the matter, offered an interesting opinion. Showbiz disapproves of Garcia's weight issue, but appreciates that Garcia faced consequences, notably paying a $1.5 million penalty directly to Devin Haney rather than a sanctioning body. Showbiz sees this as a sign of integrity, suggesting it should become a standard practice in boxing. Additionally, Showbiz clarified that Haney wasn't physically compromised by Garcia's actions, as he had performed well at 140 pounds before. Being drained was not on Ryan Garcia. Don't forget, Devin Haney wasn't drained just a fight ago against Regis Progray. Everybody was saying, okay, this is more his natural weight. Even he said it. Ryan Garcia recently revealed that Floyd Mayweather advised him to come in three pounds overweight against Devin. He mentioned it on X writing, saying, Floyd told me to come in with over three pounds. He told me, Bill Haney, whatever. Shortly after, Kingry also shared an image of him and Floyd on a FaceTime call, with Mayweather holding up three fingers. Mayweather advising Kingry and suggesting that Garcia miss weight for such a crucial fight isn't surprising, considering his history with the Haney family. Despite training Devin during his amateur days, Mayweather has had beef with Devin's dad and trainer, Bill Haney. The two have been feuding for a long time, and Mayweather seemingly had the last laugh after Devin suffered his first defeat in his 30-plus fight career. You need some help, help the other motherfucking night? You need some help the other you motherfucking night? You need some help nigga, your son? Listen, listen, your son need help you, tonight, nigga, not the other you night. Need some help your son. After his latest statement, the boxing world has been reacting to Devin's blaming Garcia's extra pounds for his defeat. Regis Progress, who lost to Devin last year, criticized the young boxer for being overweight. I go see if I definitely want to fight Ryan one day, but um, I mean, for me, turn this off. But for me, man, he looked um, I think he looked good. You know, he, he definitely looked good, but he said he can't make 140, so I don't know. In his interview with Hub TV, Progress dismissed Haney's complaints, suggesting it was karma since Haney had done the same to him before. He emphasized a no-nonsense attitude towards the weight issue, indicating that in boxing, what goes around comes around and fighters must be prepared for it. Progress shared his thoughts on the Haney-Garcia fight, praising Garcia's performance and strategy despite the odds being against him. He didn't sympathize with Haney's position on the weight issue, implying it's a common tactic in boxing. Another critic of Haney was Teofimo Lopez Sr. The boxing trainer discussed Devin Haney's loss with harsh criticism, 
expressing strong opinions about the fight's outcome and Haney's performance. He believed Haney deserved the defeat at the hands of Garcia, citing Haney's own shortcomings and inadequacies in the ring. Lopez Sr. criticized previous comparisons of Haney to Floyd Mayweather, suggesting they were unfounded based on Haney's actual abilities and achievements. He commented on the decisive moment in the fight when Garcia landed a significant left hook on Haney, which he saw as pivotal in Haney's downfall. According to Lopez Sr., this moment underscored Haney's vulnerability and cemented Garcia's superiority in the match. He labeled Haney as a one-time wonder, believing he had been overhyped and had not lived up to expectations set by his earlier career throughout the interview. Lopez Sr. criticized Haney, suggesting that the loss was a form of comeuppance for his previous attitudes and hype. He portrayed the outcome as a lesson for Haney and validation of Garcia's approach. Overall, Lopez Sr.'s remarks showed vindication for Garcia and reproach for Haney, indicating a correction of public perception about both fighters' true levels in boxing. Ryan Garcia has stated he isn't interested in a rematch with Devin and is moving to welterweight after this win. However, it's too early to say. It would be interesting to see if Garcia is willing to fight Haney at 140 pounds or a higher weight. Mario Barrios, who recently fought at welterweight, shared his thoughts on a potential rematch. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say, you know, like, I mean, whether, even if the rematch, you know, if it takes place at 40 again or, or what. Uh... Barrios described the clash as one of the ugliest entertaining fights he's seen highlighting Garcia's surprise victory, which proved many wrong with his unconventional approach. He likened Garcia's powerful left hook to Deontay Welder's right hand, noting its potential to change the course of a fight instantly. Regarding weight, Barrows recognized its crucial role in boxing, emphasizing proper weight management to ensure fairness and safety for fighters. He expressed interest in fighting Garcia himself, seeing it as a significant opportunity in his career. Barrios provided a balanced view on the fight, acknowledging Garcia's strategic success while also considering the complexities introduced by weight differences. His comments reflected a deep understanding of the sport's tactical and regulatory aspects, coupled with a personal ambition to continue proving himself against top-tier opponents like Garcia. As for whether Ryan Garcia cheated by coming overweight against Devin, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos like this.